These are engineered bacterial cells, so little microbes that we, we design so that they stick together. We find in nature there's all kinds of amazing natural materials, things like bone, things like our fingernails, our teeth, things like wood and shells. These materials have amazing properties, but the problem is they're hard to make. If um, I want wood, I've got to grow a tree for like 20 years. And so what we're really seeking to do over the long term is figure out how we can engineer the smallest cells, microorganisms, to be able to make these materials in a laboratory rather than outside in nature. Engineered living materials provide a new kind of matter that is not, you know, when you assemble a non-living material, it's, that's pretty much it. It doesn't evolve uh, or adapt to the environment. Like, its characteristics are pretty fixed. While living material has cells inside it, so they can actively communicate with the environment, they can actively process input and respond with output. And so the, the potential of this material would be especially at the interface with living systems because you can uh, engineer an active conversation between living system and, and materials that contain cells. We can kind of compare, just by looking at it, just what normal cells look like, what our engineered cells look like, and what our engineered cells look like when, they're, when we dry them out. And so there's a nice little gradient of liquid to solid that we got going on here. Nature's had four billion years to figure this out. So we are trying to learn from nature how it did it before, and even learn from physics how we're able to assemble small particles into a larger material, use those lessons to basically re to engineer microorganisms that usually don't make materials into making them.